Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Financial Risk Manager (FRM). Part one of the FRM exam covers the fundamental tools and techniques used in risk management, and the theories that underlie their use. External and internal ratings. As discussed in the earlier section, credit rating is applied in both corporate and government securities. Ratings are external as well as internal. In this section, we will be discussing the various aspects of external and internal ratings. We will understand how the external and internal ratings are established. Agenda. We will begin with the introduction. Of external ratings and learn the ratings transition matrix in credit rating agencies. We will also learn the impact of various geographical factors and other factors on external ratings. We will discuss the external factors that have an impact on external ratings and corporate bonds. Next, we will begin with a study of internal credit ratings, its process. And various issues involved in establishing internal ratings. We will end with a discussion of various types of rating biases. External credit ratings. External credit ratings are designed to convey information about a specific instrument or information about the entity that issued the instrument. When a company or the government wishes to issue a bond. It will usually approach one or more of the external credit rating agencies, and provide access to its business books, including balance sheets, cash flow statements, and projections. The rating process was already discussed in the previous section. The rating transition matrix shows the frequency of defaults over a given time horizon for bonds with a given rating. The example that is highlighted in the slide. Shows the transition of a firm from a rating of A from a default rating, which is zero percent, from a rating of B to a default, which is five percent, and so on. We have calculated the probability that a B-rated firm will default over a two-year period. We have tabulated it as shown in the slide. Rating process. The rating process usually starts with qualitative analysis, including competition and management quality. The next step is the quantitative analysis, like financial ratio analysis. 